This is an endangered species because of this proposition to increase uh, crazily another yet increase. They already put half the cigar stores out of business with the last one. And it's just not right. It is truly, it's, it's not morally right, folks. And uh, so I'm here broadcasting live at a cigar store, and it's Fat Smokies in Encino, California. And I want to say hello to the other cigar stores where I have my buddies as well, great guys at Cigar Warehouse. Sherman Oaks on Ventura Boulevard. Say hello to Larry if you stop in for me. And uh, my friend uh, down at uh, the and, uh, Woodland Hills, Woodland Hills Cigar. That's, uh, yeah, Copeland Cigar Company, exactly. And Woodland Hills. And Kramer's in Beverly and, and, uh, Hills. I say it, you name it. Kramer's in Beverly Hills. And Kramer's in Beverly Hills. You said it. And, 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 and absolutely, you're, you're all my buddies. And these are, these are wonderful buddies. I want to say something which may estrange some of you uh, are deeply religious, and I am deeply religious, and you know I spend my life defending deep religiosity uh, in this country. Because if this country gives up its Judeo-Christian values, then it becomes, uh, it becomes Belgium, and then we're out of business because Belgium is out of business. Why, as all of Western Europe does, uh, because it, has, it doesn't believe in anything except except being taken care of. And and so that's a, I don't want to see that happen to my beloved America. But I, I, I may estrange some of you when I say that when I hear that somebody, oh, this is a great man, he doesn't drove, drink, he doesn't smoke, uh, I, I don't immediately assume that that is a great man. I want to know he doesn't lie, he doesn't cheat, he treats people kindly, he's a good soul, he he, he fights evil, he, he, he treats people that he meets on a daily basis with decency and respect. Uh, uh, he, he, he tips the, the waitress who is making minimum wage nicely at the restaurant. That's that's my my mode of character evaluation. Knowing somebody doesn't smoke or drink doesn't tell me a thing about their character. It tells me something about their health, and not even that anymore. Especially as as we now as we now know uh, with these uh, with with these articles, it's unbelievable. Coffee reduces risk of type two diabetes by sixty percent. Sixty percent. I, you know, we, we didn't know this. It's unbelievable. Who would have expected? I can't, every day. And now wine? I have actually begun for the first time in my life drinking wine. I don't even enjoy it. <laughs> I just don't. I, I will. I, I, you can learn to enjoy things. That's why I, I think that's why I've introduced people to classic movies. You can learn to enjoy things. So I am learning to enjoy wine. In fact, I had a guy who's a wine expert send me, I want to be the guy who guides you. You know, I mean, people offer their services to me. But this is, is remarkable. This is in today's New York Times. Yes, red wine holds answer. By the way, all alcohol apparently helps. And red wine is even more helpful in, in other areas.